speak to your spirit, to your heart today. He has a message for you. I'm Bishop John Kamande Joroge of Glory Celebration Church. And we are going to read the word from the book of Psalms, chapter 81. Psalms, that is number, that is chapter 81, starting from verses 13 or th uh, through to 16. And it says this, Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I would soon subdue their enemies and turn my heart against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord would pretend submission to him, but their fate would endure forever. He would have fed them also with the finest of wheat and with the honey from the rock, I would have satisfied them. This is the message from the Lord for his children, the people of Israel. And you can hear what the Lord is saying here and what is his desire. And our message today is about the Lord's desire for his people is that they listen to him. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We have many voices, especially at this time when the campaigning is all over the country. People are moving in every place, seeking for votes for people. So therefore, there are so many sounds in the air, especially this time around. And everybody is making his case. We are listening, and then they want us to decide. Therefore, there are voices there, political voices. They are there. We also have other voices, voices that need our attention, voices of business. There are business voices that are speaking to us, especially those who are in business. And therefore, we are listening how we may improve our businesses. There are also voices of our friends, friends who surround us. We have friends, we have people that are so close to us. They keep on speaking to us. There are also voices of enemies out there. Those people who hate us, those people who dislike us, therefore their voices we can also hear. Therefore it is very difficult sometimes we also hear from our bodies the way our bodies is telling us, how we are feeling it. It is also speaking. And the world is also speaking in various ways. But we need to know there is a God in heaven who created you, who created me. And he always speaks to his people. He wants to talk to his people. And this is what he's saying. All oh, that my people would listen to me. Here, the psalmist, the Holy Spirit through psalmist is speaking to the people of Israel. That they would walk in my ways, the children of Israel. I would have subdued 
subdued their enemies. That is what the Lord is saying. If we listen to what he is saying, if we listen to him, if we pay attention to him, then we obey. There are things that he will do for us. And he mentions one by one. But the problem we have is that we listen to all the other voices. And, and we, we sometimes do not, we neglect the voice of the spirit that is speaking to us. I'm speaking to you, child of God. And I'm saying God is not far from you. He is speaking to you. He wants you to, to listen to what he is saying. And he is saying, I would have subdued your enemies. I would have brought people. I would have fed you with the finest of the wheat. I would have done, given you honey. I would have given you the things that you desire. But you do not listen to me. Look at verse 11 of the same, of the same chapter, chapter 81. This is what it says. But my people would not heed my voice. And Israel would have none of me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to walk in their own counsel. So when God keeps on speaking to us, and when God brings messages to us as he is speaking to you today, and then we do not heed, we do not listen, we do not obey, we choose our own ways. He says, then, he, when we do not listen, he leaves us to our stubborn hearts. To be led of our own feelings. To be led of what the other voices are speaking. And therefore we find ourselves going astray. We do not walk in his counsel. We walk in the counsel of our friends. We walk in the counsel of, our pol of, of politics. We walk in the counsel of every other voice that we are listening to. But God is speaking to us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He is speaking to his church. He is speaking to you, child of God. Listen to what he said in Matthew 23 and verses 20, 37. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the one who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her. How often I would have to gather your children together as a hen gathers her cheek under her wings, but you were not willing. Sometimes we are not willing. We think God is very far away from us. We think God is uninterested with us. We think God does not care about us. But this is what he is saying. He is telling the city of Jerusalem, his own people, that how much he desired to bring them together. Praise the name of the Lord. To, to, for them to listen to him. To listen to his prophets instead of hating them, instead of killing them, instead of stoning them. They, he, they were sent to them so that they may listen to them, so that they may benefit from them. That is what it is happening to us today. The Lord is speaking through his word. But we have chosen to hear other voices. We have chosen, we have chosen to listen to our feelings. We have chosen to listen to our you know, the things that are in our heart that are not godly. That is what we are championing. But God is ever speaking and he is speaking to us today. He is speaking to the church of Jesus Christ today. He is speaking to our country today. If we listen, he has better things for us. Why should we listen to God? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Number one, he says that he is a son as an shield. He is a son. That is verse 11. For the Lord is a son and shield. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We know the son, according to science, is the source of all life. According to science, we know life comes from God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But the son is the one from where life comes. Light comes. That is what God is telling us. That he himself is the sun that produces the light in our life. That he produces warmth in our life. That he produces growth in our life. And therefore, once we embrace him, once we listen to him, once we pay attention to him, life will be there in our life. This is what he says in Malachi chapter 4 and verses 2. He says, but you who fear my name, the son of righteousness, shall arise with you healings in his will. Means. Many of us are sick. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Many of us are sick. 
to finish that verse it says and you shall go out and grow fat like his tall fed calves once we listen to the lord this is what shall happen into our life the son of righteousness jesus christ the son of god once we listen to him healing will start taking place in our life there are many people that are sick in so many areas of their life their hearts are sick their bodies are sick their lives are sick their careers are sick their families are sick they are sick in every area of their life therefore they need a physician they need Jesus Christ to come and heal them. And he says he is the son of righteous, righteousness in Malachi. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And then healing will come into your family. Healing will come into your business. Healing will come into your relationship. Healing will come into every area of your life. Amen. Once you realize that God himself, once you listen to him, he is a son that brings healing in its wings. It will heal every area of our life. As a country, Kenya, once we listen to him, we pay attention to him, and we give him a place to lead our, our, our nation. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For that nation that we will listen to God, then you will start healing our economy. You will start healing the areas we are crying about. God is able to do all these things. He is able to speak things into being. Yes. We need to realize that once we listen to him, it is beneficial to us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The other thing he says that he is a shield in Genesis 15 and verses 1. This is what he spoke to Abraham. Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield. You are exceeding exceedingly great reward. This is a time when Abraham had come from his enemies. He had defeated so five kings or and he had destroyed them. God had helped him as he went to, to rescue Roth whom had been captured. But when he came home, he realized all these people can gang together. I am a person who have come into this place. I am a foreigner. I am a Hebrew. Hebrew means I'm a stranger in this land. They can gang together and come after me. I am in the minority. It is only God who saved me. And when he was wondering about all this, God came to him and he told him, Abraham, you do not need to fear. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And this is the word that he is speaking to so many people. He is saying, do not fear. Because there are so many people, there are so many situations that are surrounding you, that are menacing, that are threatening. And sometimes fear can grip your heart. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He told Abraham, you know, I am your shield. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lord is your shield. Every arrow that is drawn by the enemy and meets that shield of the Lord, it falls down. And therefore, when the Lord is your shield, the arrows of the enemy shall not have an effect all upon your life. The arrows that are drawn at night because the Lord is your shield, he shall stand between you and that menacing problem. He told him, I am your shield. And also a great reward. Once you get the Lord, once you make him afraid, once you walk with him, once you purpose to listen to him in every situation of your life, he becomes a great reward to you. He do things that no man can do. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That is one of the reasons why we should listen to the Lord. The second one is that he will subdue, overcome our enemies. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He will fight your battles. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Look around you. Probably you have many enemies. Enemies of poverty. Enemies of this. Enemies of the other. All of them are targeting you. And you feel yourself paralyzed against so strong enemies. I want to tell you, you have a friend. Amen. In verses 14, Psalms 14, 8 to 1 and verses 14 he says, I would soon subdue their enemies. If they only listen to me, I would soon subdue their enemies and turn my heart against their, their adversaries, those aggressors, those who are against you. He says, I would soon, if only they listened to me. They have chosen to listen to other things. 
We have chosen to listen to our newspapers. We have chosen to listen to the people that we think they, they are insignificant others in our life. And therefore, we obey them without a question. There are some people who command a lot of loyalty. And people follow them. They listen to them. If they tell them to do this, they do. If they tell them to do the other, they do. And some, sometimes people realize too late that they followed the wrong voice. Today, Jesus is saying, I am the right voice. Amen. You can listen to me. I'm the right voice of reason. We can reason together. Mm -hmm. Come unto me, even though your sins are as red as scarlet. I am calling you to come and we listen together. Mm -hmm. Listen to what I am advising about. Mm -hmm. I am the wisdom. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I will fight your battles. Mm -hmm. I will fight your enemies. Mm -hmm. You even sometimes don't need to pray. Mm -hmm. As you listen unto the Lord, mm -hmm. he will cover your back. He will cover your sight. Mm -hmm. If you listen unto him, some prayers you even don't need to pray. They shall come just like that as you listen to him, as you make him your friend, as you make the one. This as the source of your livelihood. He will come and deal with the issues in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Mungu wakuzungumzia. Kunazo sauti nyingi. Ambazo unazo sisikia. Kuna sauti za kisiasa. Kuna sauti za marafiki. Kuna sauti za adui. Kuna sauti ya hali ambao umekanda ni yake. Hizi zote za kuzungumzia. Lakini bwana anena. Asema kama ungelisikia mimi. Kama ungelitegea sauti yangu sikio. Mimi nilitamani kutoka kitambo kukusaidia. Lakini hunge lisikia maana ulikuwa umenaswa na sauti zingine. Na ulizipatia nafasi na muda. Naso sika kujenga. Uko vile ulivyo kwa sababu ya sauti ulizo sisikiza. Uko vile ulivyo kwa sababu ulifuata sauti ambao ilio nena kwako. Lakini sasa na kuambia bado mimi ni mungu. Ningelitaka unisikie. Hili ndiweze kukujenga mtoto wa mungu. Maana mimi ndiyo ngao lako. Mimi ndiyo jua lako. Inarobeba uponyaji. Wewe ni mugonjwa maradhi imeingia ime, ime ndani yako. Ime, ime penya ndani ya kila sehemu ya maisha. Biashara yako ni gonjwa. Jamii yako ni gonjwa. Uhusiano wako ni mugonjwa. Mambo mengi ndani ya maisha yako yote ni gonjwa. Lakini ukinitazama mimi niliyojua nimebeba uponyaji nitaanza kukuponya. Oh hallelujah Amen. Anasema wa Israeli kama wangeli nisikiza mm. Nilikuwa kila wakati na watafuta na kuwaleta kama vile Kuku anavyoleta vifaranga wake karibu Hivyo ndivyo mungu anavyo zungumza na wewe Why should you be terrorized by the devil? Mm. He is a shield Yeye atakukinga mm. Yeye atakuficha na atakuficha mahali pake pa Akustiri mm. Bwana sibuwe sana Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Amen. I would have soon overcome your enemies, your adversaries, those who are against you. We always have adversaries. In Second Chronicle, First Chronicle 17 and verse 8, it says, I have been with you wherever you have gone and have cut off all your enemies from before you. And I will make you a name, make you a name like the names of great Great ones who are in the earth. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He was speaking to David. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. David loved the, Lord, the voice of the Lord. He listened to the voice of the Lord. And listened to what the Lord is speaking to his servant David. I have been with you. In your trouble, I was there. In your difficulties, I was there. When Saul was after your blood, I was there. In that cave you went to hide yourself, I was there. The Lord speaks in every situation, even in our problems. The thing is, are you in your trouble? Are you still with God in that trouble? The Bible says that he was in Joseph, even when he was in slavery. And the Lord was with him. 
it is repeated severally that the Lord was with Joseph. Even in prison, the Lord was with Joseph. He listened to the Lord. He desired to hear the voice of the Lord. It should be your desire today. He lift you out of every problem. He will start fighting your battles. That is what he is telling David. That wherever you went, I was there. I cut off all your enemies. Those who would have otherwise wangekuwa wana nguvu nyingi sana kukushinda. Lakini mimi niliendelea kuwakata. Nikakata wa kwanza. Nikakata wa pili. Nikakata ule mwingine uliogopa sana. Nikakata ile tabu yako ya kukosa kazi. Nikakata ile ingine ya kukosa biashara mambo yako kusabaratika. Yote nikaikoamisha. Tazama sasa miguu yako iko sawa sawa na mimi nataka kukutengenezea hata jina iwe moja ya majina ile inayojulikana hapa duniani praise the name of the lord Amen. the lord is telling david i can give you a name praise the name of the lord Amen. we go to people whom we think can help us god can help you better than those people you always run to praise the name of the lord Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The other thing that he says, why we should listen to him is that he will feed you with the finest. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The finest. There are better things in the life. There are good things in the life. And God is saying, I will not deny you of these things. Sometimes we feel like God does not want us to have the best. That, but that is what he says in verse 16. He would have fed them with the finest of wheat and with the Honey, from the rock, I would have satisfied you. There are many people who are not satisfied in their life. Not satisfied with their career. Not satisfied with the life they are living. They feel like this is not my life. God can satisfy your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. God can give you good things. In Psalms 84 and verses 11b says, No good thing we will, will, will he will withhold from those who walk uprightly. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. No good thing. What is your good thing? What is your prayer? What is your ambition? He says, no good thing shall be held if you walk uprightly before the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is what he is saying to you. That is what he is speaking to you. You are there and you are feeling hopeless. You are there and you are feeling like you have lost it. You are there and you are feeling like nobody cares. You are there and you are feeling like you have lost it. You are in the wrong direction. You have not listened to the Lord. You have gone your way all this time. You have done what you wanted to do. You have done what your heart wanted to do. You have followed your, uh, your, your desires from your heart. You have been moving in the wrong direction. You have the wrong company that you are following in your, in your life. But I want to speak to you today that Jesus Christ wants to, to speak to you. He wants to restore you. He wants to draw you near. Yes. He wants to bring you closer to him. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, he wants to break those barriers. He wants to break those chains. He wants to break things that have stagnated you for too long. Amen. Anazungumza. Hakuna kitu kizuri nita kizuilia. Kwa wale wanawenenda katika jia za haki. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. In fact, he says in Isaiah 1 verses 19, If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If you are willing and obedient, if you are willing and listening to my voice, you shall eat the good of the land. Amen. That is what he is speaking to you, child of God. And today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to rekindle your faith in God. I want to flame your faith in God. Amen. Your fire in God. Yes. That which has been quenched by problems and difficulties of life. I want to tell you God is still waiting. He is waiting for you to listen to him and to obey him. And he can turn, turn your things around. Atabadirisha. Amen. Yale mambo ambao imekusubua maishani. Atabadilisha huyu mungu. Ninataka tuombe pamoja na we mtoto wa mungu. Mahali popote uliko. Maana mungu wetu akujua. Avahamu vile ulivyo na mahali pale uliko. Na nataka kukusaidia. Ebu na tuombe. Baba mungu. 
katika jina la mwanao Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti. Tumesimama mbele zako Bwana. Na watu wako mahali popote wanapotutazama sasa. Wote wakutumainia ewe mwokozi maana hili neno wamelisikia ambalo limetoka katika mausia yako Bwana. Sisi ni vyombo tu teule mbele zako ambazo wewe mwenyewe umeamua kuzitumia. Sisi ni hapa tu twapasa sauti yako Bwana. Lakini kuna wengi wanaotazama. Kuna wengi wanaosikia. Kuna wengi wanaeona sasa. Lakini tuwa kuomba Bwana uwasaidie kukusikia. Badilisha hali yao katika jinda la Yesu Kristo. Kuna wengine wanaogua maana wamejipata pambaya. Hawakujua sauti yako. Roho zao zilikuwa ngumu na walifuata jia zao ambazo zimewaingiza kwa tabu. Sasa hivi Bwana wasaidie. Wasaidie Mungu warejeshe kwa jia zako. Asante mtakatifu wa Israeli, maana unatupenda. Na ni kwa jina lako Yesu tomba tukishukuru. Uko hapo na huja mpokea Yesu Kristo maishani mwako. And I want to pray together with you as we are praying and as we are before the presence of the Lord. Unaweza kusema hivi nyuma yangu nawe kutoka leo maisha yako haitakuwa vile tena. Mungu baba. Mungu baba. Naja kwako. Nisamehe dhambi. Na makosa yangu. Kutoka siku ya leo. Na kufanya uwe Bwana. Na Mungu wangu. Asante Yesu Kristo. Kwa kunifia msalabani. Asante Yesu Kristo kwa kuniokoa. Asante Mungu. We thank you and we honor you. Blessed is your name. Now tunakuomba utafute kanisa zuri utakaofundishwa neno la Mungu na Bwana atakuwa na wewe. We thank the Lord for you and because you have had such a moment to listen unto and to the word of God. May God bless you and richly show his face upon you. God bless you. Amen. Amen.